ಮಂದಹಾಸುಚಿರಾನಂಬುಜ ಪೂಜಿ ಸುರನರೋತ್ತಮೈರ್ಮುದ ಧರ್ಮನಂದೈ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹಂ ವಿಚಿಂತೈ ಶ್ರೀಗಣಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜನೀ ಜಯ ಓಲ್ ಮೈರಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಬಿಲೌಡ್ ಗಣಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪ್ರಾಥಮಿಕ ಟು ಓಲ್ ಲಿಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯಪಾತ್ ಗುರುಜಿ ನಾಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಡೋಟೀಸ್ ಜೈ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸಂಡೇ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಒನ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಕ್ತ ಚಿಂತಾಮಣಿ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸುನೀಶ್ ಕೂಡ ಆನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೈತಲ್ಪುರ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಿನ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟೀಸ್ ಹೌ ದಿ ಗಾಡ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ದರ್ಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ್ ನಾವು ಟುಡೇ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಒನ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸುನೀಶ್ ಕೂಡ ಆನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರಾಟ್ ಏಕವಾರಖಾನೀಜು ಸಾಮರ್ಥಿನಾಥ ನಿಜಾನಿ ಮಹಿತೀರೆ ಛೆ ಗಾಮ ಚ ಮಾರ ತೇಮ ಭಕ್ತ ಸುತಾರ ಛೆ ಸಾರ ನಾಮ ದಯಾಳ ಜೀ ಭಕ್ತ ಭಣಿಯೆ ಸಾಚೋ ಭಕ್ತ ಸ್ವಾಮೀನೊ ಗಣೀ ಅತಿ ನಿರ್ಮಳ ಕೋಮಳ ಚಿತ್ತ ಜೇನೆ ಪ್ರಗಟ ಪ್ರಭು ಮಾ ಪ್ರೀತ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀ ಕುಡಾನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರಾಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಸಚ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ದರ್ಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ್ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ Swami wrote one incident of Dayarji Bhakt who was a resident of a uh, village Chamara on the bank of river Mahi. Now in that village there are many devotees live. Dayarji was also one of a staunch devotee of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. He follow each and every command of Bhagwan Swami Narayan and he also give his self attached with the santo so that he can understand the glory of bhagwan swami narayan and santo and satsang and that's why he became a very firm determined devotee of bhagwan swami narayan now while doing uh, while doing bhajan of maharaj and while performing each and every rituals of our sampraday meaning from early morning to late night from daily puja to last mansi puja in this way he performed each and every ritual daily ritual every day now as he was a staunch devotee of bhagwan swami narayan and as bhagwan swami narayan himself says at the time of death i'll definitely come to my devotee to take him in my akshardham and this is bhagwan swami narayan's promise for his devotees and that's why just as other devotees got darshan at the time of death dayarji was also one of them he was also a very very fortunate devotee and that's why he also got darshan of bhagwan swami narayan at the time of his death now when the time of his death come at that time bhagwan swami narayan himself came to his village but in actually bhagwan swami narayan was not there he divinely appeared there not only bhagwan swami narayan alone but along with the very big group of santo and some devotees bhagwan swami narayan came there on s- sitting on his manki gori and the other santo they have also some horse and the devotees they also ride on the horse now when they had got darshan of bhagwan swami narayan at the time as bhagwan swami narayan 
came in the village by horse so the other devotees of the village they also got darshan of bhagwan swami narayan and as the all the devotees have darshan of bhagwan swami narayan so the devotees thought in their mind after many long time we have darshan of bhagwan and santo so let we follow him and in this way all of the devotees leave their leaving their house open and leaving behind their work they all follow bhagwan swami narayan and santo now bhagwan swami narayan enter into dharji's home but after that the de- uh, the devotees of the village they could not see bhagwan swami narayan nor they can see santo but as the arji was also a devotee so all the devotees said uh, all the devotees sat in the house of the arji now the arji can only see bhagwan swami narayan and santo no any other person besides the arji can see bhagwan and santo now as the arji got darshan of maharaj and santo he call everybody why are you sitting here as bhagwan himself after many days after a long period of time he came to our village and this much santo also with maharaj then why are you sitting here go and prepare for meal go to go for uh, giving some grass to horses but all of the devotees as they could not see bhagwan swami narayan and santo nothing and that's why they were sitting as well now after that the arji requested maharaj to sit on a proper seat and then he himself got up from his bed he said maharaj please sit for some time i'll make some preparation for your meal in this way dayarji welcome maharaj and give some respect to maharaj and santo but as no one other than dayarji can see bhagwan and santo so no one got up as dayarji requested but still all the devotees they were sitting as as usual now when dadji asked those devotees why are you not listening my voice why are why are you not getting up and not preparing anything then the devotees said we cannot see bhagwan and santo then dadji said this is maharaj himself i can see i can feel him and this is the group of santo then in this way Dayarji describing Maharaj, how Maharaj wearing clothes and ornaments and everything about Maharaj. And in this way, Dayarji last spoke in this way. Now, Maharaj is here, Santo is here, and now, this is my last humble Jai Swami Narayan, and I am going with Maharaj to his Aksharvan. And while stopping this, stopping to speak that he also stopped his breath and he fell down in this way in the presence of many devotees dayarji got darshan of maharaj as well as he also took his last breath and he reach into aksharvan with maharaj this is what the one we can say it that evidence that bhagwan swami narayan is the supreme lord because there is no any other avatar there is no any other god who came at the time of devotee's death and this is the unique system of our swami narayan sampradaya that at the time of devotee's death bhagwan himself come to take his devotee to his aksharvan now in another incident sadguru nishtunanand sahib wrote again uh, 
more in the same one to be ejected. This is a uh, incident of one female devotee. Pushurbai was a uh, devotee of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. One another thing is that there are many thousands of devotees in our sampradaya, but according to Vachanabrit, there are many many levels and many many types of devotees. Some have an inclination of singing kirtan, some have doing seva, some have doing uh, listening katha. In this way, there are many types of devotees. This Pusulbai, she had a very, very strong and too much love for Bhagwan Swami Narayan. She could not remain without darshan of Bhagwan, and that's why one day she decided to go for Maharaj darshan. Maharaj was very far from his village, that's why. We know at the time there was no any kind of transportation facilities and that's why if one can desire to go one place to another, she had to walk on foot or, or if she had a horse or any other means to go from one place to another. But Kusulba was lady and that's why she had no horse, nothing. She had to walk. Now, she started his journey from his home to Maharaj. She reached one another village, which is known as the Baza. Today's the Baza, at the time, known as the Bas. Now, in that village, as she had a strong desire for Maharaj Darshan, but as she could not have darshan at that time because Maharaj was very far and that's why she could not remain without darshan of Maharaj and finally she fell down unconscious because she has too much love for Bhagwan. Now as she fell down on earth unconscious, Bhagwan himself, Bhagwan Swaminarayan is the most compassionate devotee. And that's why Bhagwan himself appeared there because Bhagwan knew about the devotee's situation. Bhagwan knew about devotee's heart. And that's why Bhagwan also knew about how much love for Bhagwan, meaning for himself. In the low, uh, in the heart of Kusalbai, and that's why Bhagwan Swamina himself appeared divinely over there, and he lovingly, while smiling, with the smile, uh, with the divine smile on his face, Bhagwan himself called lovingly to Kusalbai. When listening the divine voice of Maharaj, Kusalbai came in consciousness. Now. After having darshan of Maharaj, Maharaj, Maharaj saved him or uh, saved her for doing his darshan. Now, after getting darshan of Maharaj, Maharaj himself provided her some sanctified things. Like Maharaj, first Maharaj saved her, I am coming here because you fell down unconscious. And as I thought that you could not remain without my darshan, and that's why I'll come here. Now, after having my darshan, Maharaj said, Maharaj gave her a kanti of small bit. And the another thing was that a uh, mada, meaning a rosary, of sandalwood. These two things Maharaj gave her as his sanctified things. And Nishpuran Swami taught in the same chapter that as these two things were given to Kusarbai by Maharaj himself, these two sanctified divine things remained there and 
by the pa- uh, by the passing of time nishkulanesh himself got this mara of sandalwood and swami said i have also a uh, darshan of that small tulsi bills country in this way bhagwan swami and himself came or uh, divinely appear at the time of devotee's physical situation no doubt kishor bhai was not at the time of his last moment but as he had too much love for bhagwan and without darshan of maharaj he could not remain and that's why maharaj himself appear at the same place to give her darshan now in prata chintamani is this parcha prakaran in this chapter we have listened many incident regarding bhagwan swami narayan appear and divinely come to devote at the time of his death there are so many incident even took t- uh, take place today's this we can say that our technological era just as we know about guruji's vichran guruji recently doing vichran in pune and mumbai then i remind in my mind one of the incident we have listened from the life of guruji many years ago i think that was the beginning of gurukul at that time there was no any car nothing else in the gurukul at the time guruji had to go one place to another while sitting in a truck he had to to ride in a truck in this way guruji went pune and mumbai for preaching bhagwan swami narayan's true agnya and upasana guruji had first established a uh, bal mandir in pune yuvak mandir in mumbai bhayandar and also a uh, premvati mahila mandir over there this is what the beginning this first bal mandir in pune and that's why to preach devotees in mandir many times guruji went from kandari to pune once upon a time guruji went to pune for a month at the time there were so many devotees in mandir but among them a small boy a very young boy he had no father he had only a mother and he always come to mandir sweep all the mandir clean all the things in the mandir and then after he went to his home and his job as he has no any more literacy that's why he had no good job this two family they had no much need that's why they uh, they have no need to do more job and nothing else and that's why he spare much more time in mandir many times he listen guruji's katha now after some day guruji could not find that boy in the mandir that's why guruji asked the devotees about that boy then devotees inform guruji about his illness the devotees said guruji that boy he got a cancer and at the time there was no any such kind of medical treatment in india that can stop any disease or prevent or care from such critical disease that's why not doubt he was in hospital but there were little bit chance to save his self now as devotees informed guruji guruji told devotees let we go to hospital to see him and guruji along with his thakur ji and with the sanctified water of nath and kesh and the sanctified water of maharaj abhishek 
Guruji went with Sankasar water to hospital with the devotees. At the time, devotees, uh, devotees arranged everything for Guruji, and as Guruji gave darshan to that boy, the boy gave darshan of Maharaj and Guruji, and after that, he become very very quick experience a uh, divine and eternal peace in his heart. At the time. He constantly chanting Bhagwan Swaminarayan's mantra, Swaminarayan, Swaminarayan, Swaminarayan. Now, as after giving the Sankasar water of Nakesh, the devotees gave the water to that boy, and every boy had drunk some water, and after some time, Guruji came back to Mandir from hospital. Now, after that, why? He had no much stamina in his body and still at the time as he was very, very happy because Maharaj and Guruji gave him darshan in hospital. Now, after some hour, he requested everybody to go outside from his room. He said, Maharaj and Santo is here and that's why nobody should remain in my room. I want to spare my some time alone with Maharaj. And as his as about his request, all of the other some devotees as well as his mother, they all went out from the room. After some time, some devotees entered the room. Then that boy, he said, now Maharaj and Santo is here and I, uh, Maharaj Kesal came here for myself. And now as I have no any other desire to meet anybody and nothing else, and that's why I went with Maharaj. Uh, I want to go to with Maharaj in Akshardham. And that's why in this way, same last day Swaminarayan's beauty that boy also live from this world. This is what the supremacy of Bhagavan Swaminarayan. Because even in this age, there is no any other God who came at the time of devotee's death. But Bhagavan Swaminarayan himself come along with his santo and devotees divinely, gave darshan to the devotees and took him to his akshardam. There are so many, many incidents happen in the past, took place in the present time, and from uh, from the time of Bhagwan Swaminarayan till the end of this earth, this system never break because Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself said. Antakade Marajanane Jarur Mare Avago Birud Maru in a bird late Sarvejanane Janavago. But one Swami himself promised to his devotees that I'll definitely will come to come to you at the time of your death. This is what my promise. And that is why Bhagwan always follow his promise. Whether we pro we follow our promise which we have given to Bhagwan or not, but Bhagwan he follow his com his commitment to his devotee. This is what the greatness and glory of Bhagwan Swaminarayan. We will discuss many incidents written in Bhatta Chintamani's Parcha Prakaran by Muskuran Swami, but in next Sunday. Now we every year we from last year we we are going to arrange and organize winter workshop and in the same way this year winter workshop 2015 at the time of Christmas vacation in the Loya Dham Mandir. So all of the kids, all of the kisors, they all invited to Register for Winter Workshop 2015. Uh, for that, 
uh, for the registration you should go on www.swaminand.org the registration form over there and many devotees they have registered their own name for winter workshop 2015 so without failure without uh, delay everybody are invited in this workshop registration by saying jay swaminarayan sri ganesh maharaj ni jay